Market update time. Let's have a look at silver and gold. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Hey traders, as you know, there's so many different indicators out there that people can use and people get so confused about what to use and when to use when it comes to indicators. So I've just recorded a video walking you through my number one trading indicator that I use all the time that helps you with entries and exit and it's going to really really help you out with your trading as well too. Click on the box above that says number one indicator get, to get access to this video right now. Alright let's have a quick look at silver and gold on the overall charts. Let me show you what I see here. Lots of lines and stuffs and boxes and all this sort of stuff on this chart here. But the main thing that I want you guys to realize is this or should I say the main thing that I want to show you guys is we did actually get a bounce off this major long term. This is the, a major key area of support around the 15 to 16 mark on silver. You can also see that the last area, if I bring this right up much closer here, and I know there's a lot, of, a lot of lines and stuff on here, but I want to actually, you know what? For this here, let me just take it off the screen. What I want to share with you is this, is... If you have a look at, say, this area through here, you can see that we have support, support, then, so this was the previous support. It became resistance through here, now it's becoming support. So this is the very first sign of bullishness in silver in uh, in about four or five months. So we're starting to break up or hold this. Do we break up and out? One thing I want to see is I want to see a clear break above this sort of 17,200. We do get a clear break above there. That'll create a nice break above. We'll get, we'll get back above this blue line here. And that blue line for me is the 52 day moving average. Uh, and I want to see it start to cross back above there. And obviously if we can get the 20 back above there, you can see that's where, that's where we can start to get some nice trending motion. And uh, and I'll I'll start look at I'll start looking at some long term uh, options on that as well too. Looking at uh, silver uh, gold as well too. Gold has actually started to race back up towards the fifty two, but we're actually you know we're holding there now. We're starting and we had like a little little drop back on Friday. But if I show you what I see here with my trend lines, you can see we're oh, we're on this big downward trend here. We did rally back up, and we're now at this level through here, but. One of the key areas for me is this whole area. We still haven't break above there. We need to break above the 1200 level again. We need to like really close back above that level uh, in order for us to get back into bullish bullish uh, uh, mode as well too. If I go have a look at that, let me show you this on, on a weekly chart here because this is the weekly chart here uh, really, really says it all. So this is the weekly chart on gold. Uh, and let me just... Actually, you know what? Let me just so let me just bring that down through there. So somewhere around about there, that 1200 mark there, around there, this whole banner through here was was a support level. It's now running back up. You can see this whole area through here, this whole box. It's not like a finite level. Some people think when they're drawing the trend lines, they think it's like a finite level. It's like it's 1800. You can see how this whole box through here, or this whole area through here, is indeed that area that we need to break above if we. You know, you can see we had a whole bunch of area support through there, um, a bit of support through there, lots of support through here as well too, a uh, bit of resistance through there. So, and you can see it rejected through there. We need a clear break above, a clear break above that support level, and then we're probably likely to come down, test it as support, and break back up. So that's what I'm seeing there on, on the gold on uh, on the weekly chart, guys, and we're also seeing. Let's have a look at this here, and we also this is this is uh, the weekly chart on silver as well. So the weekly chart on silver, as you can see, this whole area through here, this is where the market actually found support. It's now running back up, but we still haven't created that, that higher peak. So this is the major thing that I'm looking for on that weekly chart. Can we break back above and get back above this resistance level? Because if we can, then that's going to be the start, the start of, I would say, so, some bullish sort of moves through there. So we do have a bit of a trend line going down through there. And then we also have that... I'd also say we have something through there as well too, but I won't, I won't do that one through there. But we can see, see the support. So 
we need to break above this resistance to start to create a higher peak. And if we do, the, the, that's the first sign for me to see bullishness. If we break above the 1850 level, then that is the sign for me to say, okay, we're now likely to start seeing some movement to the high side. If I go have a look at, let's, let's go have a look at the monthly chart here for a minute. Let me just take everything off the screen. And I'm going to go have a look at the monthly chart here. This is the monthly chart on silver. And you can see on the monthly chart, it's very, very obvious where the overall. You can see lots of support through here on the monthly chart. Lots of support here. And we're getting lots of support here as well too. So uh, as you can see, every single month has created a lower high compared to the previous month. So breaking down through there. And also we can see, let's go have a look at gold. Oh. Go have a look at gold and gold is the same thing too right you got had this whole area through down here on around between the 1200 up to around the 1600 was a whole whole area of support and you can see that's where we're bouncing right now so is this going to be a major higher trough major higher low if so then we could start to see some movement to the high side hey thanks for watching if you'd like to get more free education about trading then click on the box that says free trading course this is a free trading course that goes for around 12 hours long it's about 12 videos long it covers everything from chart reading mindset trading systems money management trade management everything you need to get yourself ahead in the markets and if you'd like to get my help personally then click on the box that says get john's help and you'll be able to see how you can get my help personally don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.